This is a video of a digital coil winding counter for making Magrav coils. And it fits on a drill. And what it is, it's a, a magnetic switch, a proximity switch, and a counter. And the kit comes with a magnet. And I used a different magnet uh, to put on this chuck here. And it's glued on with uh, hot glue. And every time the magnet passes by this sensor, it counts up one on the counter. And I'll press the uh, the trigger to demonstrate. So here it goes and every time it passes there it incre increments the counter by one. So that means every time it makes one revolution or one turn it counts it. So it uh, solves the problem of counting the number of uh, coils and you can get a pretty accurate uh, count this way. So uh, I first started looking for some kind of counter for Magrav coils uh, uh, windings and uh, I didn't come up with anything on the search you know that uh, was anything like this so I went I just started uh, putting in searches for uh, digital counters and that sort of thing and so I sort of had a concept I wasn't sure what uh, what there was out there and this came up on eBay and it came up as a kit and so I knew right away when I saw this that I was going to be able to mount the magnet to the chuck and uh, mount this uh, sensor somewhere on the body of the uh, of the drill in order to make this work. And after I ordered it, um, I was waiting for it to come in, and I wanted to do a deeper search to see if anybody came up with it. And somehow I came up with the YouTube, and there was a guy who did something real similar to this, and it was uh, very very resourceful what he did and it was a uh, it was a good video and it was very helpful and one thing i did notice which was uh really helpful for me was the fact that this particular drill was used and i wasn't planning on putting it on this drill and uh, when i saw the video it made it real perfectly clear why i should get this drill is because of this overhang right here on the this back part overhangs the the grip and it provides a a uh, place where you can put this zip tie and uh, hold that bar onto the onto the drill and that was a real uh, helpful thing so I got the drill and then uh, put it together and uh, when I put it together first I made this uh, cardboard uh, pattern and what I did was I mounted the the proximity switch to this hole and I positioned it you know I tried to find a position on here that it would be able to uh, count the coils and at the same time what was really important is uh, I had to get be able to get this uh, nose all the way into the wood because you got to press this thing all the way up against it uh, to push the coils in that's that's the way most people do this and so that's how I came up with this arrangement you know so that way it, it was enough clearance to uh, to you know to be able to push this thing all the way up against the wood okay so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and um, I hope they have some other video to show how it uh, actually winds a coil okay so I'm gonna pause the video Okay, this is a follow-up video on the digital counter for the Magrev coils. So anyway, uh, this is the digital counter I mounted it inside this enclosure. And what else I did was, uh, here's the drill. I put a, this is a, uh, a mono plug where I could plug it into here. And that way, see when I turn this thing here, you can see it. Okay, so the point of this is that you don't have to be tethered to this uh, counter, you know, and walk around with it, always tethered to the to the drill. So I'm just going to hang it there temporarily on this, just so I can shoot this video, so that, you know the the uh, the counter appears in the frame at the same time uh, I'm doing the winding. So I'm going to pause the video and then I'm going to set up a winding. Okay, so I got the winding rod set up in the uh, the hole, and I've got the magnet positioned so it's just past the. Uh, I'll use this hand. 
So it's just past the proximity switch, so it's still zero. So when it makes the first full turn, it'll register as one. So I'm going to make the winding now. Let's see where we're at here. Okay, there it is. It just went past 18. So I'm going to pull out the, uh, withdraw the cable. I'm just going to set this in here for now. Pull this out. Okay, so that's a finished capacitor coil with 18 turns. Piece of cake. Okay, that's the end of the video.